Hey there kids, Bat Commander here. Here we are on stage in Nashville at the Cannery, world famous live music venue. If you know anything about Nashville, you know it's synonymous with live music and hot chicken. But meanwhile, we've got this fantastic sound check to do. I'm just waiting for the other guys to show up. They're uh, getting ready with their CrossFit calisthenics. We try to do at least two hours of cardio before we play. Anyway, let's take a little tour of the stage, shall we? Behind the scenes at Soundcheck. This is called a drum set. Boom, 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 boom. The person behind this kit plays the drums. This is your kick drum because you play it by kicking it. Boom, boom, boom. That's right, that's right, kick drum. This drum set is on what we call the riser. Say it with me, kids. Riser. And if you're standing on it, you're rising. See how much taller I was? We do that so that you can actually see the drummer who is Ricky Fitness. Anyway, Something a lot of people don't know about stages is a lot of times the speakers go out that way. But what they don't know is about these. They're called monitors. They play the music back to us so we can hear it. Otherwise, we would probably sound really bad. You know, like vomit. That's when you throw up. <laughs> anyway, we hope we don't sound that bad. Sometimes I like to put my foot on one so I can hear myself through my foot. Hello. Hello. Over here we have Eagle Bone Zone. Eagle Bone's Tower of Terror. Here is his Fender cabinet from the 1960s. Fender Basement Amp, which is weird because you figured he doesn't play bass, but he plays through this basement amp to give it a low end. This is also Eagle Bone's helmet, his spare one. In case someone runs up on stage and grabs his helmet, he has another one ready to go. Pretty smart if you ask me. Let's go over to this side of the stage, shall we? On this side of the stage is Crash McLarson's rig. Look at these fancy lights. One, two. That means it's on and ready to play. This is Crash's bass. Look, it says Crash, Crash. You know how when you're at school and you write your name on your lunch or you write your name on your shoes or the bottom of your Woody doll? Crash writes his name on his bass guitar so he doesn't lose it in the fray. It's broken. Anyway, I'm sure Crash will fix it. He's real handy. <laughs> now over here we have Jimmy the Robot's keyboard. At some point he'll turn this on and when he does this, it will make noise and everyone in the crowd will go, ooh, ah. <laughs> then look. That, kids, is called a saxophone. Jimmy also plays that, you know, just to be old school. Back in the 1918s, the saxophone was the instrument of the people, the sound of the revolution. <coughs> anyway, what am I talking about? Right here. This would be my microphone. Coiled up like a snake ready to strike. Sst. I'll grab it and then sing into it. This is the song of the day from the Bat Commander. Hey, would you like to come to my party? I made a cake and it's gonna taste just like sand. This is sound check, where we turn everything on and then check it. And I'm glad you're here with us. Thanks for coming. A 
just wanted you to come over, sit on my couch and hold me tight. But you and I were so dumb talking, left me alone with my skateboard tonight. Yeah. There's not much you can do, but I don't care about you. He's gonna want to meet you at the show. You want a steady girl, a nuclear boy, and a nuclear world. Track of songs from our television show. Which, if you haven't seen our show, it's on the YouTube channel. Maybe you've heard of it. I got a couple of them now. Yeah. Feeling science! That's Y O U T U B. 12 people, wow. Check out YouTube, the Aquabat Super Show. It's pretty awesome, right, guys? Yeah!